You're cute. Wow, that's a way to wear a beanie. Good morning, everyone. We are having a dance party this morning. Alex requested to listen to Bruno Mars. And so that's what we're doing, and he is breaking it down. <laughs> Get it. We got a break dancer on our hands. Oh, yeah. He's on fire. He's like, I meant to do that. <laughs> Mommy can't do that. That's awesome. Okay, you guys, it has been a little while. David is home from work now. He's taking a shower, and I've been working on the nursery a little bit more. I did last night, and then right now, I'm just trying to get everything together. But I didn't realize I had even more onesies that I got washed and put in here that are zero to three months and three months onesies, and then I'm gonna put all the jammies right here. And then the next drawer will be all like the six to nine months and nine month stuff and possibly 12 months, I'm not sure. We've got baby towels and washcloths down there. And then this is all blankets, sheets for the bed, sleeper stuff that's been washed and some more onesies that I need to put away. And then over here, I went ahead and put his little changing pad on. I washed it. This whole room smells like the baby draft. It's amazing. I'm really pleased everything's coming along nice. I'm ready to get the bedding on there because that's going to make it look real cute. We've got his little lamp lit up over there. And then stuff from the registry and some more clothes I need to put away. But I'm not sure if me and David are working more on it tonight or tomorrow. I have an appointment Mommy. tomorrow for another ultrasound. Mommy. So let's hope that everything Mommy. goes well. Alex is um, being quite a handful right now. We took about a two hour nap together earlier so that was really nice. And then we've just pretty much been relaxing. I cleaned up his room as well. I'll show you that. Well now of course there's stuff everywhere because he was playing in it again but I got it cleaned up for the most part. I try, that's all that matters, right? I think I'm officially nesting though because I'm tired, but I just want to clean and do things. And last night I reorganized our bedroom, um, putting things in me? different places, not furniture, just um, clothes and all that. And now my back is really paying for it today, but I'm still cleaning. What am I doing? I don't know. One eternity later. My stepsister and her girlfriend just left. They came over for a little while and we talked about wedding stuff. So that's really exciting. I have an idea of what colors I want and also how I want, how I think that I want my hair done. I'm not positive yet. And then also David has an idea of what kind of tux he wants. So we've got some more ideas now. How ginormous this thing is. My stomach is so big now that I can wear David's shirts and they're not like extra long on me because I have so much stomach to cover. Oh, also, if anybody has had this problem, let me know, but I don't know why my lips hurt so bad now. I don't know if you can tell that they're chapped. That looks gross. And like right here, it cracks really easily. I've never had that problem before. I use chapstick all the time and this is happening. I don't, is that like a pregnancy symptom? Never heard of that before. Maybe I should Google it or something, but I thought I would ask you guys, have you guys had 
problems with that those ladies who are pregnant or have been pregnant do you start to get like super dry skin because my face has been super dry and my lips hurt and then when I put on chapstick it feels like I'm having an allergic reaction so I don't know what's going on with that but that is not fun come play with me come play with me David is getting dinner for us now. We still have some ribs left over in the fridge. If you saw our vlog a couple nights ago where he made ribs, he made like four racks of ribs. But we're not really in the mood for it. Okay, let's move right here. So he is getting some Zaxby's and I'm just getting what I normally get. Hey, have you had a good day today? Are you wearing pull-ups? I poo pooed in it. <laughs> you poo pooed in it? You know, you're not supposed to poo poo in pull ups. You're supposed to go in the big boy potty. Like a big boy. You're gonna hurt the baby. Oh, he's crying. You hurt him. You gotta give him a kiss. No. Oh, how rude. Okay, that is not how we treat babies, but let's just ignore the fact that that just happened. Hi, Daddy. Mommy. Mommy. He just got back from getting Zach's Mommy. 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 We're going to go ahead and try and get Alex in bed. We had a rough night last night because he woke up like three times in the middle of the night in full-on temper tantrums. And it was really tough. I was trying to get him back into bed and he was throwing himself everywhere. Wouldn't let me pick him up. I don't know if he's having night tears or what, but we need to try and get him in bed because we're going to need some extra rest tonight too. I didn't fall asleep until around 3-ish. David was sleeping off and on until <laughs> Alex finally got settled. But I was in so much pain last night that I could not fall asleep and then he kept waking up so it prolonged my not being able to sleep. What are you doing? Can you say goodnight? No, no, no. Say night night. No, no. Say I'm gonna go get my jammies no, now. No, no. Night night. Lord help us all. I finally just got Alex in bed. Hopefully it's successful and he stays in there because I really would like full night's sleep. But this is a salad that I get if you have not seen it. You guys are probably tired of seeing my salads, but this is what I get from Zaxby's. It looks amazing, so I'm gonna go ahead and eat that and I'm catching up on um, Jillian Mercado, Mercado. Mer avocado. I don't know how to say her last name, but I like watching her videos. Her son is only like a few days older than Alex. So I'm gonna catch up on that. And then I'm probably gonna go and work on the nursery a little bit more. Just kidding you guys, it's the next day and we're about to head to my ultrasound appointment. It is early in the morning and Alex is already acting crazy. Hi daddy. <laughs> peekaboo. 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 <laughs> You're cute. Wow, that's a way to wear a beanie. You're gonna make that angry face. <laughs> One hour later. Alright, so we left the doctor's office and everything went well. We didn't see my actual doctor. We just got an ultrasound. And she said that he, the estimated weight right now is 6 pounds 10 ounces. 
which is crazy because at 38 weeks, five days when Alex was born, he was six pounds, 14 ounces. So it's gonna be a chunky baby. Yeah, this baby's definitely gonna be bigger than Alex was. But if I end up going earlier than 38 weeks, then he won't be too large. And then she just checked the cord and everything like that. She was on the cord for a while, but I think it was because he was moving a lot, so she kept having to reposition. But it felt like every time she was on the cord, he was just like pushing away, trying to get away from it. And he still head down, hallelujah, is not a relief. Mm -hmm. So he's been head down for the past three weeks. I'm really hoping that he stays that way. I don't know how he would flip now with how big he is. So I think he will, but. We are gonna go get some breakfast and also get Alex's first haircut. And that's gonna be in tomorrow's vlog, so definitely stay tuned for that. And we're also gonna um, work on the nursery. and Finish the nursery. We're gonna finish the nursery. We're working on it today, we're finished. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned for tomorrow's vlog. And we will see you guys tomorrow. Peace. <sighs>